Hello my friends, how are you doing? I believe one of the difficult things in Salesforce for someone who is coming new, someone who is coming from a non-IT background is understanding a certain concept, the concept of maps. It took me a while to figure it out. Therefore, I'd like to dedicate this video to all people who are trying to understand maps so that they once and for all understand maps, understand its benefits, why developers use it, and how you also can use it to be a good Salesforce developer. Let's get started. Here in the first row, we have the keys, such as US, Japan, France. And in the second row, we have the values, which are the national currencies of US, Japan, France. In the list, you would just store either the countries or you can store the, the currencies. But what's beautiful about maps is that you can store both the countries and the currencies. So there is more information, more richer information in maps as opposed to lists. So how do we create a map of this table? Here's how we do it. So first we create a map that has a key of a string and a value of a string. The key is the country, the value is the dollar. So we can enter the key and the values one by one using the put method of maps. To get a value, we use the get method and put in a key. All right, let's look at this in developer console. I'm opening up my developer console. Here's my execute anonymous window. So I've created the map, put in some key value pairs, and I want to get the value for the US key. I'll click execute. That's what like it's executing. I click debug only and we get dollar. This is what we expect, right? For US, we get dollar. We can change this. We can put USD. Let's try again. Execute. Debug. We get USD. Wonderful. Now you know how to create a map and how to access the values in the map using the keys, right? Another way to create a map of the above table is using the curly braces. Let's see, here we go. Curly braces. All right, as you can see, we use curly braces to create a map. And now let's execute debug. And here, all the values. Great, you know two ways to create a map, right? This way and this way, using curly braces. Good progress, well done to get values in the map. You have to use get method and then you put in the key. Earlier we used the key of US. We can also use Japan or France. And this will get as the value for the key. Let's look at this in a different way. How can we create a map using SQL? Here's an example. Let's go back to developer console. Okay. I'm creating a map of IDs and accounts and the account object will include the ID and the name. Okay, let's see what we get. Here we go. This is the ID of the account and that's the key. And the value is the account. And the account object includes the record ID, the name, that's all we looked for, right? If we want to get more information in the account object, we can just put it here, website. Okay, let's execute. Debug. Alright, so here is the key 
and the value is the account object and the, in the account object we get the record ID the name of the record of the account record and the website great wonderful right this is how you control what information you collect in the value great now you also know how to create a map using a SQL query great progress well done stay focused okay we're almost done okay now the big question for you could be why use maps what advantage do we get from using maps very good question this is the question I had for a long time let's find out to understand the usefulness of maps let's look at the two examples below example one so we're creating a list of accounts using a SQL query that queries for 50,000 account records let's assume we have 50,000 account, account records in our org now we need to create a list of IDs of these 50,000 records so how do we do that first we declare a list of IDs account IDs then we iterate through each account in the account list and we populate the account IDs list with the accounts ID so what's happening is we're having we're going through 50,000 records 50,000 iterations now that's 50,000 iterations when we use lists let's look at how this will be different using maps with maps there is no need for loops here's how so let's say we have a map where the key is the ID the value is the account in the value we have the ID and the name of the account and let's say we have 50,000 records in this map now to create a list of IDs from this map all we have to do is say mapvar.keyset so we're taking all the keys from our map and we're populating it into this list very compact right very compact basically just two lines of code but no for loops no iterations two lines of code beautiful now let's say a client comes back and says I need a list of the accounts in the map then it's very easy we just create a list of account account list and we say mapvar dot values and this it, and it populates this list with all the account objects in our map that's it it's fantastic right and in this list each account object will have the ID and the name of the account record wonderful right this example showed you how maps are powerful they save us a lot of time now let's look at another example to drive forward the point of how powerful maps are Let's say we have a trigger to populate the contact type field on the contact record and we will use list first okay so here's our trigger it's on contact for inserts and first we have a set of IDs the set will collect the unique IDs of the accounts and for each new contact if the account ID field is populated we will take the context account ID and add it to the set set account ID okay and then if the account ID size is greater than zero we will create a list of accounts using a SQL query right here now for each contact that has been created and if the contacts account ID field is populated for each contact in our list of accounts if the contacts account ID and the accounts ID are equal the contacts type should equal the account type okay so to accomplish this using lists took us about 31 lines you, if we use maps 
it would take us just 23 lines so this is the same this is the same the difference starts at this point so once we have populated account IDs in the set all we have to do is first we'll create a map of IDs and accounts using the set account ID then for each contact that was created if the contacts account ID is populated and if the map of accounts has the contacts IDs we will make the contacts type and the accounts type same okay as you can see using maps we can write very efficient code even reading this and explaining this is much more easy much faster than explaining this right we just looked at two examples that clarify the benefits of using maps so just to reiterate two benefits of using maps is fewer loops more simple code now i have three questions for you first one is what is one reason why you would use a map collection instead of a list think about this write it down i really want you to understand the benefit of maps in your own in your own words please tell me what is a map can you go ahead and create a map of 10 accounts using a circle query and do it right now in your dev console using execute anonymous okay good luck thank you so much